What's up KGS Headmaster here and welcome to Wednesday. I think it's going to be another great day. The sun is still shining. Um, it's been great for the last couple of days. So hopefully you've been able to get your half hour of exercise out somewhere locally, socially distancing uh, as well as you can or out in the back garden or whatever it happens to be, as well as getting all your work done. Obviously we're slowly getting into, into the routine. How was your Monday Tuesday? Good I hope. Um, my Monday pretty good, lots of interesting things to do and be done. Um, really pleased with the fact that Mr. Incredible won the vote on the Disney hero. Uh, a huge endorsement of that lovable, likeable guy. He was my number one. Uh, Mulan was my number one, but she did okay too, as did Baymax. Um, but Mr. Incredible got the, got the love and appreciation. Um, Tuesday, similar kind of day, except a uh, slight variation here. Um, my number one Disney song, Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins, got exactly um, no votes. People, where is your heart? Where is your love and appreciation for Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins? It's just me, I guess. But there are lots of great Disney tunes out there, so it's really difficult to choose from them. And I'm sure you've got your own favourites from, from lots of different Disney movies over the ages, particularly some of the kind of modern classics and all of this is going to be wrapped up the heroes the music and indeed today's topic the villains along with lots of other things can be wrapped up in friday's quiz 4 p.m live stream on youtube um be there join me join in it's going to be going to be great fun um so today's disney villains we're going to come to that in a moment firstly some birthdays um happy birthday to mo mo in the lower six mo it's a great day you're gonna have a birthday give me a present register yeah um, it's Tom, it's your birthday as well in the upper six. So Tom, you two have a great day. Um, hope you guys enjoy it despite lockdown. Have a really good day with your family, staying in touch with your friends. And I hope you both, as ever, get everything that your hearts desire. Um, registration, speaking of, Mo, um, making sure you only register once a day now. So the register is first thing in the morning, you get up for the day, uh, you get smart, you get prepped. Um, then you kind of watch me. Of course, you register. You go into your lessons, um, you have your 15 minutes between each lesson to give yourself a bit of headspace, a bit of time away from the screen, but your break time, your lunch time. So get your exercise, um, get your mental stimulation, get, get all of that stuff out there, enjoy yourself kind of just locally, um, socially distancing, etc., or in the garden doing whatever you need to do to keep mind and body fit and healthy and hopefully you'll have a great day. Now my top three Disney villains. Um, number three, Claude Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's a really joyous movie, Quasimodo Esmeralda, uh, The Cathedral of Notre Dame, um, Paris, it's a beautiful, and he's a really dark character, really out of keeping with the rest of the film. So he's my number three. Um, number two, um, quite a serious motif going on in Beauty and the Beast, and Gaston just lightens the mood. Um, people aren't laughing with him, they're laughing at him. Gaston is my, is my villain number two from Disney, and my villain number one, Cruella de Vil. Now, you can have your evil queens and, 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 and others out there. There are some awful kind of Disney villains out there and your witches. But Cruella de Vil is the only one that wants to make a fur coat from Dalmatian puppies. Whether that's now or going back to when the film was made, that's just appalling. That just makes her the number one evil villain for me in Disney of all time. Um, disagree if you dare. I'm sure you will. Let's hope she gets at least one vote, unlike poor old Feed the Birds. Um, and to end on a quote today from, from, from Mr. Disney himself, the great Walt, he said, uh, when you're curious, you find lots of interesting things to do. And I think that in these kind of days of lockdown, when we can all get a little bit bored, a little bit understimulated at times, kind of, what can we do? We can't go out. I think your curiosity, your own imagination can run right. I think you can read things you haven't looked at before. You can see things, you can discuss things. I think you just need that curiosity and I'm sure you guys have got it in bucket loads. So be curious, find lots of interesting things to do. Look after yourselves, look after your families, um, chat with your friends, keep working well, keep being happy, thinking of you as ever. Headmaster out.